Welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. Today, I'm going to talk you through and show you how to swap the barrel kit on an FX Impact M3, and I'm going to go from 22 to 25 caliber. As with any kind of maintenance, the first thing to do is make sure the rifle is unloaded and uncocked so it cannot be fired. Once you've got the new barrel kit, the only tools you need to change it are a 1.5 and 3 millimeter Allen key. As well as a 25 cal barrel kit, I've got a 25 caliber magazine. It's important to understand that a new barrel kit is not just the liner. The whole barrel kit has a new steel barrel with a new liner in it of the different caliber. Different caliber liners are not interchangeable with different barrel kits. Here you can see this barrel kit includes the transfer port. The port is marked P for pellet, which is a round port. And if you turn it over, you can see this slotted port here with an extra rib is S for slug. When you put the barrel in the rifle, it will index on one of the notches, either here or here. It's important to make sure that the port you want is placed downwards vertically because the air transfers upwards through it. And for the large port, for the large kick of the slug, it's important you won't get full speed if you just use the P pellet port. I recommend that this is the easiest time to give the internal barrel a thorough cleaning to make sure all oils used in the production manufacturing process are entirely clean from the bore. The first step in barrel changeover is to remove the moderator, ensuring that the thread stays in the end of the aluminium shroud here. Using the 3mm Allen key, slacken off the barrel grub screw here. You don't need to take it all the way out. The barrel can now be just gently slid out of the rifle. It's important to remember you also need to change the pellet probe. With the rifle partially cocked and the pellet probe loose here, you can insert the 1.5mm Allen key and slacken that off. Once completely slackened with the recoil pad dropped, you'll probably find it's easiest just to jiggle the rifle and it will just fall from the bottom here. Keep that with the barrel because you need that for future use when you ever go back to the same caliber. The new probe will be packed in bubble wrap. It's actually quite easy to lose it or mistake it as part of the barrel's packaging. But that will just pop out the bag and there you are. They're all marked, so this one clearly says 25 caliber. When you want to put the probe back in, I find it easiest to put an Allen key into the back and just to slot it onto the mechanism inside. You can control the position of the Allen key using the cocking handle here. The rifle isn't actually cocked. When you tighten it back in position, be careful not to over tighten it. It just needs nipping in place and that will now work with the cocking lever assembly. You're now ready to put the new barrel kit back in. Make sure you can see which is the port for the pellet or for the slug. I'm going to be using pellets, so I want the P downward. So very carefully slot the barrel through the mechanism. There are O-rings and it will slide very smoothly in position. Don't force anything. You can see the ports as you rotate the barrel. So make sure the port you want is downward. I'm going for pellets, so I slide in here, rotate slightly, and it will lock into position. Do not forget to retighten the barrel in place because it will shoot out when you fire the gun if you don't. Now remove the thread cap to fit your moderator. Be careful that the stainless steel under the aluminium doesn't come out with the cap. And if it does, be careful not to drop it. Simply put it back in like this. If it is slack, just pop an Allen key through it. Use the largest diameter you can and you'll find it will tighten in place. And the shroud as well will nip up with it. Doesn't need to be super tight, just nipped in position. You can now thread the moderator back on and tension in place. It's important to remember that some moderators are quite calibre specific, so make sure you've got the correct baffle in for the calibre you're shooting. Now all you have to do is open up your new magazine, loads exactly the same way as it did before, pop that off, and in go your new larger pellets. 
and the last stage is to actually enjoy shooting your rifle. First step is to zero it, but you might want to tune it again, especially on the FAC versions, and make sure you've got the absolute best accuracy and precision you can get from your rifle. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe and comment because your comments are what drives us to make more videos. I hope this has been useful to you and you've found out a little bit about changing calibers on FX air rifles. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.